What up guys, this is Alex and today we are going to learn how to do a firmware update on a Compact Logix 5380 that we have right here. And this is actually a very simple process and it kind of applies to every other Rockwell controller. So I think it's gonna be fun and easy. And enough talking, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so here we are on our web browser. Uh, I'm going to go to ab.com that will take me to kind of Rockwell's front page, the one that we were looking at. This is the one. And on the middle page, on the middle uh, uh, um, of the page, it's the uh, downloads uh, icon. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to use the option compare products, which is going to ask me for a controller part number. I'm going to write my controller part number. Uh, this is This is the one. And it shows me I, every every version that is available for that controller. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna select the version 33. And once it uh, gets me to this part, uh, I'm going to click to in this little icon. It says downloads, and it shows me firmware for Compact is 5380 version 33. I'm gonna click on that, and it's going to take me to a validation page, so it can. Uh, I can accept the terms and conditions, which I'm going to do right now, accept. And it will take me to basically two options, a direct download or a managed download. I personally prefer the managed download. I'm going to click and it's going to download a little download manager, which I'm going to open and it's going to start uh, downloading the firmware. I'm going to click on that. It is right here. It's initiating and it already completed. It's actually pretty fast. I'm going to uh, take that file to my virtual machine. I'm going to show you right now. So this is my virtual machine. The first thing I'm going to do is to take that DMK file that I downloaded from uh, Rockwell's site. So I'm going to take them from here. Uh, it's on downloads array. Here is here is the DMK file, which can it's kind of a package that contains all the files necessary to do a firmware update, and I'm going to paste it on a very specific. Uh, th there's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to do the this way in the the C, C local disk. I'm going to go to users, public access, public documents, Rockwell automation, firmware kits. And I'm going to paste it right here. I have already downloaded another firmware, so I'm going to click and replace it. And you will see that there's a couple other DMK files here. Uh, this is all of the other DMK files that I've been using or that uh, installed once I installed the Rockwell software, right? So our new firmware, it's right here. And uh, we're going to open right now Control Flash which is the classic way that Rockwell uses uh, to do a firmware update on uh, almost every of their controllers. So this is it. I'm going to click Next. And before I continue, I'm going to put on the camera so you can see how this looks on the controller side. Okay, it's right there. Okay, this is kind of loading. Um, I'm setting up the camera for the controller. I hope it gets hit there quick. Okay, so this is the first page. I'm going to click Next. It kind of looks for all the uh, DMK files. That's why it's loading. It kind of updates all of its catalog, all of the firmers that are on that specific folder. And here it is, guys. I'm, I'm going to select the Compact Lux 5380 controller. I'm going to click Next. And this is going to take me to either RS Links Classic or Factory Talk Links. It depends on 
what version you are running. Uh, this is going to open uh, factory talk links for me. And there is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the controller via the USB port that is in front of them. This is it. Uh, I'm going to make sure that it's connected to the virtual machine. Okay. It should recognize it shortly. And I'm going to... Okay, this is the USB driver. I'm going to click on the controller. It looks good. I'm going to click OK. It shows the re version 33. If I had another version on the computer, I can click on Show All Revisions and it, show, it would show version 32, 31, uh, and, and, and anything that I have. Uh, since we have just the version 33 and that's the one that we are going to use, I'm going to click Next. It uh, kind of uh, do a, a full uh, information of uh, what, what we are about to do. It already has version 33. I'm going to try an update to version 33 and I'm going to click finish. Please look at what happens to the controllers, LEDs and the uh, LCD uh, screen. Yes, I'm sure. And that's it guys, it actually took very very little since it already had the version 33, uh, I'm assuming it will take a little bit longer if you had any other version of the controller and you try to update or downgrade the, the controller's version, this this took very few seconds and but the process is actually the same, it's very very easy and I hope it's been helpful to you. So. If you have any suggestions, if you have any comments, please leave it in the in the comments box below and thank you very much. Have a nice day.